In a previous poll, 33% of adults with children under the age of 18 reported that their family ate dinner together seven nights a week. Suppose that in a more recent poll, 332, 1,050 adults with children under the age of 18 reported that their family ate dinner together seven nights a week. Is there sufficient evidence that the proportion of families with children under the age of 18 who eat dinner together seven nights a week has decreased at the alpha's 0.1 level of significance? So what we want to do first is establish a null and alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis, the statement of no change, no difference, status quo, would be what? P equals 0.33. That's the results from the previous poll. We're looking to gather evidence to suggest that P has done what? Decrease, so our alternative would be that P is less than 0.33. And now what we want to do is verify that we can use the normal model in order to approximate the p-value. And so to use the normal model, what do I need to be true? n times p times 1 minus p needs to be at least 10. So n is 1,050. Oh, we haven't figured out P yet, have we? Oh yeah, we have. P is 0.33. And what do we get for that? 232.155. About 232, which is certainly at least 10. And so the normality requirement is satisfied. And now I need my independence requirement to be satisfied, so I need the sample size to be no more than 5% of the population size. We surveyed 1,050 adults with children under the age of 18. I'm certain that there's at least 10 million of those types floating around the country, yes? And 5% of 10 million is, what, 500,000? And so, 500, Thousand is certainly bigger than the 1,050, so we're good to go on the independence requirement as well. And so now we have that our level of significance alpha is what? 0 0.1. And so the third step is to come up with a p-value, and we're going to go ahead and use StatCrunch to get our p-value, yes? So we go over to StatCrunch and we go to Stat Proportions, one sample, and we have summary data. How many successes do we have? There we are. 332 are still eating together seven days a week, so that's a success, 332. 332, and we surveyed 1,050 individuals, yes? We're doing a hypothesis test. What's the statement in the null? 0.33, and the direction in the alternative is less than. Click Calculate, and there are our results. And so here we're getting a p-value of 0 0.1706. See it? P-value of 0.1706. And here is our sample proportion, it was 0.316. And so the question we're really asking ourselves is how likely is it to get a sample proportion of 0.1 or 0.316 or less if the population proportion is 0.33?
Put another way, how likely is it to get 332 or fewer families that eat together out of 1,050 if the true population proportion is 0.33? And so our p-value of 0.17 would be interpreted as follows. If we obtain 100 samples of size 1,050 from this population, we would expect about how many? 17 to result in 332 or fewer families that eat together if the population proportion is what? 0.33. And so the real question is, are the results that we got unusual? Under the assumption the population proportion is 0.33. Is the evidence statistically significant that the proportion of families that eat together has gone down? Well, is 17 out of 100 an unusual result? If you observe something that happens 17 times out of 100, are you saying, ooh, that's weird? No, no probably not. And so would you be willing to say the proportion of families that eat dinner together has gone down based on the results that you see? No, you would not. Because you observed something that was going to happen about 17 times out of 100 if the population proportion still is 0.33. So this tells us do not reject H0. The p value is not less than the level of significance, the p value is greater than the level of significance. Remember, if the P is no. No. low, the null must no. go. This P value is not no. low. <laughs> so our conclusion here is there is not sufficient evidence To suggest the proportion of families with children under the age of 18 has decreased from 0.33. Bear in mind, we're not saying that the proportion is 0.33. We're simply saying, I don't have enough evidence to say it's not 0.33. Big difference.